All right, you have uh, gone to the parts store and you've looked in the book and found the correct number oil filter for your car. And uh, you looked in the book or asked the guy behind the counter and found the right amount of oil for your car. And now you want to know how to get this and the oil inside your vehicle. Okay, we're gonna show you how to change oil today. I have this car up on the lift. Not everybody's gonna have a lift, but this way I'll be able to show you uh, a lot quicker and a lot easier where everything is and how to get this done. So first off, you're gonna need your oil filter and you're gonna need some oil, of course. Um, preferably, you're gonna need some kind of a drain. This is just a big uh, extended oil caddy so you can reach up underneath the car, but you know, a bucket, old milk jug, anything will work perfect. Just as long as you can collect the oil and not let any get on the ground. We don't wanna pollute and kill birds, okay. So, let's get underneath the car. Once you've got it up on uh, ramps or you've got it jacked up, this is gonna be the underneath of your engine compartment. This is what all that looks like underneath there that you can't normally see, okay? Uh, most cars, and I say most because not all of them are gonna be this way, but most cars are going to have the engine drain plug on the passenger side, on the passenger side. The driver's side, this is gonna be your transmission or your transaxle. On your passenger side, this is gonna be your engine oil pan. You're gonna wanna look for a bolt that looks like this. It's most of the time is gonna be your engine oil drain. And sometimes it will say it on the oil pan. This one doesn't, sometimes they will, not all of them. So we need to get this guy out. You need to figure out uh, what size wrench it is. This one just happens to be a, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. That one's a 15 millimeter. There you go, 15 millimeter. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on there. And you wanna turn that bolt counterclockwise. Ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. Let's break that guy loose, okay. Let's get our drain pan underneath here. We're gonna raise that drain pan up real quick. Okay, we have our drain pan underneath our uh, drain plug so we can catch all the oil coming out. Let's go ahead and remove that plug all the way. See if I can show you what's going on. We're just pulling that plug out. Let the oil drain out of there. And, okay, there it goes. You're gonna wanna let all the oil drain out until uh, there's hardly anything coming out of there anymore. It'll it'll turn into a slow drip. So just go ahead and let that drain. Uh, while you're down here, you can go ahead and check everything else out. You can come over and look at your CV boots right here, this rubber boot. Shouldn't have any cracks in it. Look at your tie rod ends right here. Make sure these rubber boots are good. Um, if you can see your brakes, you can go ahead and look at, at uh, your brakes in there. Check the other side out. Tie rod end here, boot's good. Your CV shaft boot looks nice. Let's grab a flashlight and try to show you where your brakes are at. This is just the, the front tire of the wheel assembly or the front view of the wheel assembly. Okay, there's a good view of your brakes. Sometimes you can get up there and see uh, let's see, let me show you. This right here is your brake pad. So you're just want, gonna wanna you know, check those, see if they're still thick on the other side. Uh, we can get into that into another video. Right now we're just changing oil. Uh, but yeah, these are quick little things you can check You know, while your oil is draining. Just get a good view of your car underneath. Make sure nothing's hanging. Oil's almost done draining. It takes a, a minute or two. It takes a little bit. Almost done. Like I said, we want to let that drain until it's just a slow drip coming out of there.
It's almost ready. Almost ready. It's getting close. Other things you can look at too are, uh, you know, give a look up under the car, see if there's any leaks where the oil pan meets the engine block up in there. Check your exhaust pipes, make sure the bolts are still tight. You know, simple stuff like that. Stuff that could save you some problems going down the road later on. If you can catch it now, you can always save money later on. Okay. That leaks pretty good. Um, I forgot to mention, when you do pull the drain plug out, it's handy to hang on to it in your hand. You know, try to pull it out really quick. Uh, this catch pan makes it really easy because it can just fall in here and the oil drains away from it. But if you're using a bucket, this is gonna go down into the bucket and you're gonna have to stick your hand in the oil to get it back out. So try to uh, hold on to that guy if you can. It'll keep you from making too big of a mess. get that back in to tighten it you would just want to turn the bolt counterclockwise get your uh, wrench back out the appropriate size get that thing nice and snug pull on it good and tight ah, there we go let's clean all this oil off so we don't have a mess down here okay and uh, let's go ahead and drop this car down and I'll show you where the oil filters at Okay, there are a lot of cars that have an oil filter underneath the vehicle. Uh, that Well, I, I should say there are a lot of cars that uh, have an oil filter that you can get to from underneath the vehicle. This particular car actually has an oil filter that you have to get from the top. It's right there. Um, if the oil filter is visible from underneath and you can get it, then you would have gotten the oil filter as soon as we put the drain plug back in. Like I said, this particular car has an oil filter we have to get from up top. So uh, you're going to have to lower the vehicle and um, come to the top side up here underneath the hood to get the oil filter. Now this guy, when you pull it off, has a little drain right here. It's going to, the oil filter is going to drain the oil that comes out of the filter into this little drain and it's going to go underneath the car. So you're once again going to need to get a catch pan underneath the vehicle to catch that oil. You're gonna need a, you're going to need, you're going to need to put that catch ban back underneath the car to catch the oil from your oil filter. So, let's go ahead 
and put that guy underneath there. That should be directly underneath where your oil filter is. And now we can pull this oil filter off. And, and now we can go ahead and pull this oil filter off. Uh, sometimes if they're tight, you're gonna wanna have an oil filter wrench. They also sell these at the same place that you got your oil filter and the oil from. So you might wanna think about picking one of these up if you're gonna do your own oil changes. You're gonna wanna turn that oil filter the same way you turn the drain plug to get the drain plug out of the oil pan, counterclockwise. Got that guy loose. Be careful because your engine could still be hot at this point. See, there's the oil coming out of the oil filter that we wanted to make sure and catch. You don't want that running all over the ground. Make sure and dump the oil out of your old oil filter. got our new oil filter here that was the correct number for this vehicle okay uh, you can see the oil filter has an o-ring that goes around the outside this o-ring is made out of rubber you're gonna need to uh, put some engine oil either used or brand new on this o-ring before you put it back on that will help this oil filter come off the next time if you don't put oil on here this thing is gonna get locked on the engine pretty good and you're gonna have a hard time unscrewing it so you can just get some oil off of where the oil filter was mounted to the engine. Let's see. Let's get a little more. Okay. Put the oil filter back on. They can kind of be of a pain getting them threaded back on there, so just be patient. Once again, watch the heat coming off the engine. Don't burn yourself. Okay, uh, once the oil O-ring of the oil filter makes contact with the engine block, you wanna turn it about another three quarters of a turn. So you can just make a line on the oil filter, you know, either with a marker or just visually mark it and turn that three quarters of a turn once it makes contact. That's all you need to do. Any more than that is uh, kind of unnecessary. <laughs> okay, I've got this far. I've drained the oil. I've got my new oil filter on. What do I do next? Where do I put the oil? Well, you're gonna look for a cap that says SAE 5W30, SAE 5W20, and it'll sometimes it'll tell you the name of the oil. This cap is always gonna be on top of the engine. Uh, just look for this sign. That's an oil bottle with a little oil drip coming out of it And then it'll tell you what kind of oil to put in it. This is where your oil goes Give that guy a twist off And that's where we put the oil Okay, your oil is gonna, always gonna come in a uh, small bottle your oil is always gonna come in a uh, quart bottle like this. Let's go ahead and get that in the engine. Your oil is going to come in a quart bottle that looks similar to this. Go ahead and uh, pop the cap off the top. And uh, according to however many quarts they told you to put in at the parts house, that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. Uh, sometimes you can use a funnel I do have a funnel on hand. Sometimes that can make it a little easier. Okay. 
the oil always doesn't go in all at once so sometimes you might have to pour it slow just watch down in the hole make sure it's all going into the engine and that's it this guy right here is going to take about uh, five and a half maybe six quarts of oil so six of these bottles uh, once you're done putting your oil in you're going to want to go ahead put your cap back on check my other videos if you need to find your engine dipstick you're gonna go ahead and pull this guy out and just make sure that your oil is within this cross hatch before you of course before you do this I'm sorry you're gonna to want to go ahead and uh, start your engine run it for about 30 45 seconds then uh, go ahead and check my other video to find your engine oil dipstick let's pull that guy out you're gonna to want to check this and after you shut your engine off of course wait a couple seconds just make sure that your oil is within this crosshatch mark and uh, that's it guys hope you enjoyed hope you learned something go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button and uh, feel free to let me know what you would like to see me do next have a good one